Welcome to Live on Bowen. My name is Simon Taylor, and I think the big news is something we all know. Medical marijuana may, may become legal in Australia. Yeah! Yeah, all of the stoners up front. Okay. Thanks for getting off the couch. If you're at home, you're probably still on the couch. But this is interesting. Labor said that if they win the next Victorian state election, they will make medical marijuana legal. But the Greens said that if they win the Victorian state election, they'll make medical marijuana compulsory. So <laughs> maybe go with them. But it's for very strict symptoms, guys. Very strict symptoms only, like anxiety, uh, chronic pain, really, really wanting some weed. Just the strictest, <laughs> strictest, because when it comes to really wanting some weed, marijuana is effective 100% of the time. So <laughs> what a miracle drug. <laughs> But we know doctors are, doctors are drug dealers in a sense, right? But I'm worried that if weed becomes legal, the drug dealer is going to think they're doctors. <laughs> like, what's that? Right. Anxiety? It's because you don't have any weed. <laughs> Problem solved. Here, catch. Pass that round. <laughs> this is funny. You, have a, you need some weed. That's what's going on. <laughs> But the perception of weed is going to change, right? Because Current Affair always does those scare stories, don't they? Like, this young man smoked marijuana. Yeah, I smoked marijuana! <laughs> now, he's a doll bludger and a terrorist <laughs> and the worst neighbour ever, ever, ever. <laughs> now they're going to have to update it, right? Well, hopefully we'll see stories like, this young man smoked marijuana. Yeah, I smoked marijuana! Now, his glaucoma cleared right up. <laughs> he feels a lot better. He's laughing all the time, watching cartoons, ordering pizza. Best neighbour ever, ever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want that neighbour. Why not? Here's something I read. Japan has this, uh, this campaign going. The Japanese government started a campaign called uh, Let's Stockpile Toilet Paper, right, because of disaster zones. A lot of their disaster zones in Japan have all the toilet paper. It's where they make it. So they also have another slogan, uh, stop, drop and toilet roll. So that's a little, <laughs> little dad joke there for your dad. Hope you're watching. Uh, but it's interesting, right, because it's important in Japan. Like some people like do the double fold with toilet paper. Some people do the triple fold. But in Japan, um, they fold it into this little paper crane. <laughs> so that's kind of little, that's the yeah. air. Yeah, here. Catch. You can pass it around. <laughs> And finally, we all know by now, everyone's heard it, I've heard it a million times, the Duchess of Cambridge, Cambridge is preggers again. So good on her. Why not? Baby number two. Yeah, monarchist in the house. All right. <laughs> but imagine being there when her waters break. Can you imagine that? Right, because as far as I know, nothing beats a royal flush. So, <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a joke. Yes. We're coming to you from Bowen Street in the heart of Melbourne CBD. We'd love to hear from you. So if you want to get in touch, here's how you do it. Poo.